Welcome to the summit, and thanks for stopping by Midwest Sportsnet. It's a privilege today to get to visit with the head football coach at Benedictine, Coach Larry Wilcox. And it was a uh, win, a 31 to 27 win for the Benedictine Ravens on Saturday, last Saturday, that moved the Ravens to three and one on the 2020 season. However, it was the 300th career victory for Coach Larry Wilcox. And Coach, uh, first off, I just want to say congratulations on the win. What does something like this mean to you? Well, thanks a lot, Joy. First of all, uh, it was sort of nice to get the monkey off my back, you know, to get to that point. People have been talking for that for a couple of years now. I just trying to been hanging in there, but uh, we got the win. Our, our guys really were, were resilient on Saturday. Uh, there were some times where we got behind and they kept battling back and uh, Prue State, our opponent, uh, you know, I think played a very good football game and, and had opportunities to win as well. But uh, we got the win, and uh, that was the 300th win. It's sort of a milestone, obviously. And, uh, you know, it's uh, personally, I, I take a lot of pride and in, joy in having done that, having had the opportunity to be with Benedictine College all these years, a great institution, fantastic academic programs, neat people to work with. And uh, we were able to get 300 wins because I've had a lot of great coaches over the years. Some of them that have been with me for a long time. Charlie Gartmeyer, our defensive coordinator, has been with me all 42 years. Wow. Denny Murphy, 41. Other coaches, 20, 25 years. John Stammers, George Papa Giorgio, Fran Johnson, and, and other coaches. And then, of course, you have to have a lot of good players. And we've been <laughs> fortunate to have many great athletes in our program uh, during that time period. Now, Coach, that was actually one of the questions I did want to ask you about because I'm, I'm sure – that everyone around your staff and probably the program as a whole was aware of the the total, the win count, and leaving off last season at 297. I'm sure that you would have liked to have gotten it done in three games. It took four. Uh, however, into this season, you still were able to do it at home. What does something like that mean to get to do it in front of that home crowd that I'm sure was very appreciative? Well, you know, the way the season set up with the COVID situation, you didn't know if you are going to have any games at all, much less week to week what was going to be played. Uh, we were fortunate that we played all four of our games. However, this past weekend's game, Peru State, was supposed to have been our first week of the season. And you know, in the back of my mind, I was sort of hopeful that we'd have a chance to get 300 at home. And uh, we had to take a beating on the road to make that happen. But uh, I was glad that we got a home victory and that the 300th was able to be shared with the limited number of people that were able to be in the stands uh, because of the circumstance. We're speaking now with head coach Larry Wilcox of the Benedictine Ravens, who's just picked up his 300th victory. And I do want to uh, ask you, please do like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if you can, Midwest Sports Net. Uh, coach, you know, I, I've, I've heard from coaches before that uh, sometimes the wins are easier to move on from. It's the losses that keep you up at night. Uh, what What stands out to you? Which one of those is easier for you to remember? Well, I think that the losses are the toughest. You know, I, I, I reflect uh, back on some great wins that we've had over the years and uh, some surprise wins and, you know, the underdog uh, rising up and beat the beat the favorite. But uh, the, the losses are the what ifs, you know, what if we'd have done this or we could have done that. And but that's one of the things I think that keeps you sharp in coaching is learning from your mistakes and the ability to overcome them and then move forward. I understand. Well, listen, you just a couple of years ago picked up 13 of those 300 wins in one season. The 2018 campaign, uh, the Ravens went 13-2, and two, made a trip all the way to the national championship game, finished as national runners-up that season. Coach, with your experience now, 42 years in at the program, what does it take to put together a run like that? Well, it takes a lot of things. It takes an administration that's a supportive of what you're trying to accomplish. It takes uh, players who believe in what the staff is trying to do. And and you have to have continuity within those players. You, you can't have guys in and out every year. And that's becoming more of a theme throughout college athletics, I think. And we're fortunate here at Benedictine that we've got guys that are in it for the long haul. Uh, they understand that they have to make an investment in order to get to where they want to be. And then lastly, you have to have a coaching staff that's going to also provide you the continuity uh, that you can give to those players in, uh, in their coaching on a daily basis. Well, my goodness, it sounds like that last, that last factor really is something you all have with, uh, you know, 
couple on your staff you included with 40 plus years with the program and so many more with 30 and, and 20 plus that that's that continuity definitely well I know coach that the season didn't end with last Saturday's win although three and one's a good record I know that you guys are looking to continue this season and and, and do well and that leads to this weekend it's homecoming in Atchison and and, and I know that uh, it's a uh, going to be a big contest coming in it's evangel that you all are going to be facing and this is an evangel team that's coming off its first win of the season and so can you give us a little bit of preview of Saturday's game? Well, we've always had a great rivalry with Evangel University over the years since they instituted their program. And uh, we've uh, lost, we lost last year at Evangel, so it would be good to get them on our home turf for a change. We played there the last two years, as a matter of fact. It's going to be a beautiful weekend here in Atchison and a uh, beautiful weekend on our campus for a homecoming, which is a little bit different than this year with, than what a typical – homecoming would be but I know our players are excited about back-to-back -back home games and the good win that we had last year and uh, building on that moving forward all right well coach Larry Wilcox will be coaching this weekend again the Benedict and Ravens taking on Evangel in homecoming and the next win for coach Wilcox will be win number 301 maybe not that big round number but I'm sure the boys are going to celebrate just as much with the next win that comes down the line for you all. Coach Wilcox, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Have a great day, Joy. Appreciate everyone for watching. Again, please do like and share this video, and please do consider subscribing to the channel, Midwest Sports Net. In the meantime, God bless you. Have a great day.